Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're setting sail on an exciting journey to explore the physics behind boats and why they don't sink. This voyage of discovery will take us through the science of density, displacement and the role of salt water. So fasten your life jackets as we dive into the fundamental principles that keep these vessels afloat, making our seafaring adventures possible. Why do boats float? Well, it all comes down to a magical force called buoyancy. Boats float because they're less dense than the water they sit in. In other words, their weight is less than the volume of water they displace. It might sound a bit complex, but let's break it down. You see, when you place a boat in water, it pushes aside or displaces an amount of water. This displaced water in turn exerts an upward force on the boat. That's what we call buoyancy. Now buoyancy is like a tug of war between gravity pulling the boat down and the displaced water pushing it up. If the buoyant force is equal to or greater than the boat's weight, the boat stays afloat. It's like a delicate dance on the water. And when the buoyant force is greater than the boat's weight, voila, it floats. This is the magic of buoyancy, the unseen force that allows boats to sail the vast oceans without sinking. But how does displacement play a role? Let's delve into this fascinating aspect of buoyancy. When a boat slips into the water, it shoves the water aside, creating what could be thought of as a hole. The water, true to its nature, rushes in to fill this space. And here's where displacement shines. The volume of water displaced by the boat is equivalent to the volume of the boat itself. Now, this displaced water isn't just sitting idle, it's exerting an upward force, a buoyant force that opposes the downward pull of gravity. This battle between the buoyant force and gravity is the heart of the matter. As long as the buoyant force, which is a result of water displacement, outweighs the boat's weight, the boat remains afloat. As long as the buoyant force from water displacement is greater than the boat's weight, our boat stays happily afloat. But wait, there's more! The salinity of the water matters too. You see, not all water is created equal. Fresh water and salt water have different densities. This difference is due to their salt content. Think of it this way. When you dissolve salt in water, it adds to the mass, but not the volume, making the water denser. Now, what does this have to do with buoyancy? Well, the denser the fluid, the greater the buoyant force it can exert. This means a boat will float better in salt water because it's denser than fresh water. The extra salt in the water increases its density, creating a more buoyant environment for the boat. So the next time you're sailing the high seas, remember that the salt isn't just there for the fish and the chips. It's also playing a crucial role in keeping your boat afloat. So next time you're sailing the high seas, thank the salt for keeping your boat afloat. And there you have it, fellow sailors. The secret behind boat buoyancy. Remember, it's all about displacement, density, and that magical force called buoyancy. We've journeyed through the science of why boats float, from the role of displacement to the buoyant boost of salt water. It's a fascinating voyage of discovery that reveals the intricate dance between gravity, density, and displacement. Until next time, keep exploring, keep floating, and may your adventures be as boundless as the sea. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.